I thought it would be kind of cool. This out and blows this through, and the sun comes out, the wind dries this back out. It's more likely. Good morning. Welcome back. Roxy and I are headed down to get the baler. Keaton's already got the rake up there. Jason's greasing it. I'm getting it all lined out. I'm going to walk down and grab the tractor, baler, and the accumulator. Because we are back to business after we've been fairing the last five days. I took some much needed time away. Um, I did pick up the camera and... Uh, you guys can see the highlights of the fair in that video right there. It's not very long, it's just, just the highlights. Come on, Roxy. We are so thankful for you guys hanging along with us every day. I know the videos have gotten a little bit spaced out and well, it's just, it's a lot being a farmer and a wife and a mom and content creator, but this is what um, speaks to my heart is sharing our story and sharing the agricultural world with all of you. So, a couple of things. Bailing hay today. Um, I don't know if Jason's gonna go and mow. They're calling for some rain showers this afternoon, evening. Um, so he's kind of up in the air. Everything that we do now will be large squares after today. We only have a couple fields left of first cutting and they were kind of done for a little while. So I'll have some breaks and be able to get everything hopefully caught back up. We've got a lot of maintenance stuff that we just need to catch up on, such as farming and life and all the things in between. But we are in great, we are so grateful for all of our viewers that tag along with us. So make sure you guys are subscribed, commenting below, and uh, staying up with what's going on with our farm. I know there's several videos floating around from like a year ago, two years ago, and there's questions popping up about why you guys don't see all the back end stuff. Well, it's really hard for me to video the back end back here if I'm not here for it. But we do have two bales, two barns of straw. We did quite a bit. You can watch those videos there. Um, two barns of straw. It's actually the most straw we've done in a long time. Jason was a little bit scared. We wouldn't have enough hay to uh, feed for our own livestock. So obviously our corn silage is not going well because we just can't seem to catch the rainfall. We do have this barn almost filled. So uh, each of these barns hold right under 7,000 bales. Uh, we go 11 stacks high. That's all mixed grass. She's beautiful. So our corn silage plot. Um, the alfalfa just goes to show how resilient it can be. It's still growing. I told Jason I almost regretted taking it up now, but it is what it is. This is probably the, the most corn we have right here in this little, little spot. We did plant forage sorghum a couple weeks ago, and it's just starting to come up. But let's go jump in the Massey Ferguson 5S. It's 145 horsepower. I thought about doing, um, it's windy. Let me get in the tractor and we'll talk. Come on, baby. I thought it would be kind of cool to do like an equipment tour. Um, I've done one in the past, but it's been a while and we have so much new stuff. <laughs> kind of showcasing it as we go. Um, but we have a lot of new equipment that's replaced our older equipment. And I know I want to talk about the differences between the 1840 and the 1842S. Also, the Coons Norden changeover. Um, we had a 1534 accumulator, which was brand new in 2014. And then now we have the Norden AE15. So it's essentially the same thing. Uh, they just changed their names. Um, from Coons to Norden because it was a little bit confusing with Coon North America and all the things but yeah we'll do that probably next week 
So you're probably a couple weeks behind, but you guys will see the the um, farm tour. I thought it'd be just kind of something cool. And maybe Jason would be more apt to um, talk about some of the equipment. He's not a big videographer per se, and neither really is Keaton. So that's part of the reason why you guys don't see a ton of video. Uh, Keaton's probably gonna run the drone a little bit for us later this week. That's his specialty. Um, let's see. Oh, and if we get a rain day, I thought I would do a live. If we get a rain day. So that's where we're at. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks for tagging along with us and we'll hit the fields shortly. So this has an automatic luber. So the only thing it really lubes is the nodders. Do you like that feature? Is that handy yeah, for you? It is. It's a lot quicker because I can just pump. I feel like I don't waste near as much grease. Because, I don't know. I haven't filled it yet. I can tell you that. So, but we usually give it a few pumps every day. So, a lot simpler than the 1840. There's a lot less, like, I, feel, I just feel like there's a lot less moving parts than the 1840, just the way that they have it designed. The augers are downturn augers now, so they're, um, it's the way that it's designed though, but this also has a two fork stuffer, so. I've come to really like that because I don't feel like it clogs near as bad. And actually when it gets full, how your um, slip cut notification comes on on your big square she doesn't shear the bolts that she it, it takes a lot to shear a bolt because i've only sheared those bolts over on that one field right and like i kind of ran her pretty hard whatever day we where'd we bail last Morse. okay so i kind of shoved hay through her Morse. and she stopped versus sheared the bolts i actually had to get out and unclog her but usually if i unclog then i have to bolt sheared and i didn't the shields are different too. You can actually get on the flywheel from both sides, mm -hmm. which is handy. Well, for me anyway. My little short arms can't fit all the time. So it's easy to flip flop. that are not ours that we are doing with cost um, like bail shares so Jason and Keaton mowed it yesterday and now we're raking and bailing today and there's some rain moving in we really hope it rains we really would like to get this done it's kind of a toss up I told him to go over there and get me some good long stroking rows so I could get in and going. That way we'll be all right behind him. It's the nice thing about this rake is we literally, it keeps, lets the air flow through a little bit better from it. So the hay is just right there. Like it's it's very just right there. So um, we're gonna give it just a little bit. Jalen and I are gonna eat lunch real quick and he's gonna run the rake. That way we can get it just a little bit more airing. There, it's, it's like right there. And a lot of it has to do with the overcast. Um, it's not good, not really good drying weather today, but it, it's working in our favor at the same time. So there's a lot of aspects when you make hay and making good hay. It's got to be dry, but not too dry. You got to have perfect weather. Keaton has really done a very nice job learning how to do all this.
It won't take long. This rake really makes some really nice fluffy windrows, brings it up really nice to a peak. It allows it to air, but like, I wish you guys could feel it. it um, obviously, if you know, you can see how green some of this still is. So we'll just give it a little bit of extra time. I'll eat lunch and uh, then we'll get back to it. Can I have my lunch? Yeah, thank you. Oh, hey, I'm gonna need my knife out of my um, pocket up there because uh, I brought beef sticks and I can't get it. Sound like having a field lunch, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you pack me little apples, did you? Yeah, I packed me two apples. Where'd there. these come from? Um, the big tree in the yard. At Grandma and Grandpa's? Yeah. Yeah. I picked them today. Um, this is my lunch. <laughs> My lunch. No. You think you need a, you need some lunch? Oh, you tell everybody hi. Are you giving everybody kisses? Oh, thank you. You haven't got to ride with me for a few days. It's just been so hot. Yes. Puppy kisses are the best. Alright, you just want my lunch. <laughs> Well, we're just all camping out with mom right now because it's sprinkling, so we're just waiting it out. Yeah. Eating our snacks and lunch and chilling. Mm -hmm. It's family time because we haven't had enough of that the last four, five days, have we? <laughs> nope. Nope. There are up here a couple short windows because um, the way dad mowed. He was skipping, and um, he missed a lot down here, so I had to cut a couple of them short. That's fine. You mean Dad was skipping? Like, he didn't have enough mower length. Oh, I see. To so. pick it all up. Gotcha. But, yeah, if you look down there, he was skipping. But, especially on those other fields, because they're so tiny. Yeah. It's definitely raining now. Yep, it's raining. We need the rain, so we're not going to cuss it. Worst case scenario, we'll come in. They'll either big bail it or uh, we'll square bail it. Would it rain? Yeah, just let me get wet. You'll be fine. Just from the water. You get wet when you go swimming. Yeah, that's in my swimming pool. I'm going to get wet and it's raining. Not Where'd in. Roxy go? Is she under the tractor? Right she'll, there. She'll be wet. Go under the tractor, please. Well, while it's not pouring, it's just raining just enough to knock us out for now. But not to say, like Jason and I discussed, um, if it pops out and blows this through and the sun comes out the wind dries this back out it's more or less like a heavy dew at this moment so it, who's to say that we wouldn't come back this afternoon later on this evening and come back and bail but for now we're gonna go home when we get just enough rain to rain us out but we're not gonna complain we're not going to complain about a little bit of rain it's just enough to slow us down for the day not to ruin the hay. Now we're walking. Jason's came to pick us up. Come on. Go, go, go. Catch the kids. Come on. Hey, what's on your agenda today? Wash eggs. Wash eggs for market? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to go finish bailing up the uh, field that got drizzled on yesterday. We'll talk about it a little bit. I think the plan is for Keaton, he's gonna drone some since he's ahead of me raking wise and he'll be in the field anyway. So that's our plan, isn't it? Yeah. All right, we'll see you in the tractor. All right, while you air your tire up, I'm gonna go check the hay real quick. It should be okay. I don't see why it wouldn't be. It's, it was still plenty green yesterday. No, 
Oh yeah, she'll be ready to go. She's still green. Roxy, are you checking the hay too? <laughs> She's still plenty green. She'll be fine. All right, come on, Rox. Let's go get in the tractor. Come on, wrong tractor. Come on, let's go. So today we are going to finish up baling what we didn't get done yesterday because it drizzled us out. Get myself situated here. Yeah. Uh, I lost my train of thought. Let's see. I'm gonna come back. Let's get baling. partner um if you caught the beginning of the season we had gotten a blue healer mix and unfortunately reese had passed away but we found this little girl god kind of put her in our lap and it is exactly what i was looking for all along was a red so just adding to our herd herd of healers and herd of flock and all the things in between we are getting ready to have Sky and Ryder puppies. Literally any day, Sky's due. Um, that's Jason's parents' blue healer female that we've had for several years. And then obviously Ryder's are male. So once they're up and going, I'll show you those and I'll have them all linked. You guys can find those puppies if you're interested. So we shut down the tractor for a few minutes. Well, for a little bit. Because uh, I had such a pleasant surprise. Um, a couple of we had such a lovely surprise and chat with Russell and his beautiful wife who uh, follow along. So thank you guys so much for stopping by the farm. I hope you guys have made it back home safe and had a great travel experience. We are going to uh, get back to bailing and Keaton is done raking now. So he's going to... the snoozing Roxy but I love having that this tractor is completely um, right at my fingertips so like when you bump forward um, as you've noticed I'm not reclutching you literally bump shift everything which is very handy um, I love having the controls at my fingertips radio phone all the things to, so I can really focus on my job Jason, I know, was working with Loft to get the correct plugs um, so that we could eliminate having the camera. If we don't need it, we can have it right here. So, like, it'll have a camera hookup right there. And I found out through one of the subscribers, you guys told me that um, this, the monitor that's for the Agco 7433, if we have the right thing, it'll go right into this as well. So, we are actually going to be big bailing, uh, big square bailing. I know that um, with this screen, it, it's not detecting a camera at the moment. Um, so I know Jason was going to work on maybe transitioning uh, this from taking this out and just having that hooked up here, but we're waiting on a plug to come in. I love that being able to shift is all at my fingertips, literally. Uh, the radio, the phone, it's all right here. Um, allowing me to really focus. There's no clutching except for to really turn it on. There's a button back here. I'm not gonna do it at the moment, but I'll show you when we leave the field. Um, there's a switch behind here, a little clicky switch, that'll jump you through your um, three, four, and up. 
So like you start in 1A and you click it and pull it back and it'll get you to 2A or 2A. I don't know what the technical term is. A lot of you guys have asked about the suspension and the bouncing of the cab or the rocking motion. It's got to do with the axle suspension. It will move. Uh, I don't know how to do that. Jason will have to show me again, but it'll actually be where you can lower and ride the tractor. It allows you to really glide over these fields. And if anybody's doing a hay field knows it's by no means smooth. Well, we got the drone boy in here. He was droning and then he went to catch a sale item. Do you know what it went for? So we sold my MoCo, and then um, Jason's talking about getting a new one, but we haven't made any purchases yet. We're just kind of trying to get through this year. Um, it's sometimes really hard. I don't know if you guys can hear me with the fan on, but it just goes so much easier for both out there together mowing. You know, you're gonna have to start mowing. Yeah, I've got the lawn mowing. <laughs> you got the lawn. <laughs> We haven't done a whole lot of mowing this year. We're in the midst of a drought. So we're just cleaning up this field real quick. It's not ours, so we just wanted to make it sure it looks good. Um, and then there's two bales out here. Keaton, just go grab those, and we'll put them in the back of the pickup. I'll drop you off, and you go back and grab those two, and then line those up over there for me, please. And then I'll finish up, and we'll head to the next one. He's so amused by mom. Aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> so I just got back from picking up Jason. Um, he was mowing over by my parents' house. So he left the mower and tractor there. He'll finish that up tomorrow. Um, now we are gonna go take the skids and two trailers and go pick up the hay that we baled today. Um, and since I'm not baling, and Jason waited till seven o'clock to pick it up, you guys get footage instead of just um, it coming in and out. So we've got somebody picking up hay now. Um, that was another question. We sell 90% of the hay we bale. Uh, we keep back stuff for ourselves as needed. Um, we kind of time that out for ourselves, like should hay get rained on or it's not as great quality. All that stays back for our herd, which is part of the reason we got into the cattle because we had we're having hay that would just go into our compost pile. I'm talking with my hands a lot. Um, we would just go put it in a compost pile because the horses couldn't eat it and we couldn't sell it. So then we were left with this hay. So that was one of the reasons, besides me really just liking cows, um, that we got into the cattle business was something that we could utilize and feed our quote unquote, not top quality hay too. So Jason's got somebody here to get hay now. 